everyone, it's me, Jen, a programming librarian at the Cedar Rapids Public Library. Today, we're going to be using Scratch, an online coding program, and a make a Miki. And together, we're going to use them to create a playable guitar. A Makey Makey is a kit that comes with a circuit board, alligator clips, USB cable, and wires. This enables you to connect everyday objects to a computer program. Scratch is a program that helps kids understand the logic behind coding using building blocks that help them create their own games and programs. From the internet, go to scratch.mit Edu. Click on Create to start a project. Let's begin by editing our sprite. Click on the Add Sprite icon in the bottom right hand corner. Select music from the filters at the top of the page to limit your sprites to those that are musical. Click on the electric guitar since we're going to be creating a cardboard electric guitar. To remove the cat sprite, click on it and then select the trash icon in the upper right hand corner of the image. To make our sprite larger, go to the size space under the sprite box and type in 200. Now let's pick a background. Click on the Add Background icon in the bottom right-hand corner. Select the concert image after scrolling down a bit. We'll move the guitar to the left a bit by entering 10 in the X coordinate field. Now let's get to coding. We are going to use the event commands to start. Event commands tell the computer when to begin the program we are writing. Drag and drop the one space key pressed command in our coding space. Next we are going to go to the sounds command. Drag and drop the play sound C2 electric guitar until done command. This may also say play sound meow or some other noise. And place it below the event command. We will have four sounds for our guitar, so we are going to duplicate this code four times. Right click and select duplicate from the drop down menu. Place the code below the first in the coding space and repeat this action two more times. This code we've created tells the computer that when the space key is pressed, it will play a noise like an electric guitar sound until the selected sound is finished. To match the inputs on our Makey Makey circuit board with the scratch inputs, click on the drop down menu under the word space in our event command. Select up arrow from the menu. You will select down arrow, left arrow, and right arrow for the subsequent event commands. Now let's get some sounds. Click on the sounds tab in the upper left hand corner. To add a sound, click on the add sound icon at the bottom of the left hand side of the screen. Scroll to find the sound you would like. You can play a sample of the sound by hovering over the play button in the corner of each sound. Click the icon to add it to our sound library. You will repeat this process until you have four or more sounds in the sound library. Now that we have our sounds, we're going to put them into our code. 
click on the code tab near the top of the left hand side of the page. Go to our sound command for the up arrow event command. Select one of the sounds chosen from the drop down list. Select a different sound for the rest of the event command codes. Using your computer's keyboard, test out whether your code works by pressing the arrow keys. <laughs> Now that our code is complete, we can make our guitar. To make a paper guitar, we'll need cardboard, the printout of the guitar, the PDF link is included in the comment section of the video, markers, scissors, double-sided tape, and aluminum foil. Cut the overlap from the middle piece of the guitar pattern. Using double-sided tape, align the pieces and tape them together. Cut out the guitar. Using the double-sided tape, adhere the paper guitar to the cardboard. You can omit the cardboard altogether, but I like to use it to make it easier to pick up the guitar. Cut around the guitar. Color your guitar to make it rock. From your aluminum foil, fold it in half and then half again. Cut five relatively equal widths of foil. Unfold your strips and place a piece of double-sided tape on one of the frets. Press the foil strip onto the tape. Repeat this step three more times. Put another piece of double-sided tape toward the bottom of your guitar and place the final strip there. The foil will become the inputs we'll use to tell the computer program what to do when the foil is touched. Flip your guitar over to the back side. Place your Makey Makey circuit board face up at the bottom of your guitar. Take your USB cable and plug it into the circuit board. Using a piece of painter's tape, Secure your USB cable to the back of your guitar. With a bit more painter's tape, secure your circuit board to the back of your guitar. Clip an alligator clip to the foil on the bottom of the guitar. Press the foil down and tape it to your guitar. With the other side of the alligator clip, secure it to the earth part of your circuit board. Tape down the wires with more blue painter's tape. Clip another alligator clip to the foil strip closest to the circuit board. Secure the alligator clip with a piece of painter's tape to the cardboard guitar. With the other side of the alligator clip, attach it to the circuit board in the space for the right arrow input. Tape down the surplus wire. Using the same process, attach clips to the foil and each of the inputs around the plus sign on the circuit board. These coordinate with the inputs in our scratch code. Finally, you'll want to test your guitar by plugging it into your computer. It will tell you that it's ready once the software for the Makey Makey has been recognized by the computer. You'll take your guitar, that looks like this, and you've got to hold down this uh, sensor right here constantly uh, because this is what your body actually ends up completing the circuit for this. And um, then we just press one of our keys. So I'm gonna press this bottom one to check to see if 
our code actually works and our circuitry works. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. And this one. So it looks like we did a nice job here with our uh, circuitry on the back side. Everything looks good. And now we're ready to really rock and roll. I hope you enjoyed the program. Don't forget that you can access any of the everyday STEAM videos from the library's Facebook page or YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.